All right, this multi-seal is set up for a cut to length system. And the way this works is we have a, the in-feed right here that reaches out, grabs the metal, and then it brings it inside and cuts it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and insert this on here. I put this in here, then I just add the air. Now this is locked down. Then the next thing we do is we will come over and we've got the controller right here. This controller is set right now to go three strokes and then cut. So as you'll see when it gets done, we'll be putting the metal in the box. So I'm gonna show this cutting. And make sure everything's turned on. So we have our feed. Okay, we've got our feed. The first one we will not be using because it will be too short. But we just turn the key and this thing will start to feed and cut. Now on this cut the length system, I have added something um, at the top. This is the multi sill right here. This is the uh, box that controls all the electronics. You've got your uh, feed and feed down here. But I added a blow dryer right here. The reason why, there is a, uh, let's say if you've seen this before, this is just a, uh, an exhaust port. When the air is being pushed out of this, it's pushed out at such a high pressure that the port itself freezes up. It turns to a big block of ice. So I came up with a solution. I just put a sock on here and just a little blow dryer. And what that does is it just keeps it warm enough during the time that it's being used. And uh, it, it's a, you know, the sock is really a good way. That way it doesn't get too hot. The air can go wherever it wants. But it's just the right amount of temperature to keep this from freezing. And when it freezes, what happens is the air can't get out. So the machine actually stalls out. So it was a really funny way of doing that. Uh, overall, this machine is, uh, I haven't seen anybody using the multi fill for a cut the length, but it's not, that, it's not that difficult to set this up. Now I went to a company called PA Industries and I had them, I brought the multi fill to them and had them do this. What we did was we went with a uh, an unwinder and this is what holds the metal. And this is, uh, it's got a little dancer arm. Every time this arm goes up, it advances the roll, which is how this thing all works. It keeps everything a uniform amount of tension. And, um, they were the ones that organized and coordinated the uh, cut the lane system itself. So they're the ones who built the cut the lane system. Multisil was the ones that I uh, used uh, use for the press. The controller that I'm using here, this is the multisil controller. And uh, we can set this to um, any amount of number. So if we turn this on, I'll make sure my hands are out of the way. I'm gonna just turn this on. We've got this set to, to go to number three. Once every time it goes one, two, three, cut. Now I can change these numbers so it's a higher number and uh, it would go longer and longer and longer. If I have a, a short piece of, um, like if I needed to cut something shorter, then that's all done down at the infeed table. This part can be, I can change the length of the distance of how far this reaches out. If worst case, if it had to be real small, I could uh, I can move these brackets to a different location. Now I've been using this cut the length system for about 15 years, and we've never had one problem with it. The only problem is actually I did have a problem at one time. There's a little uh, a little kind of a little trigger right here, 
And this trigger is, it uses a plunger, which I think is not the best because as time goes on, that plunger is being stroked and it's being hit multiple times and eventually the plunger breaks. So I modified the plunger and uh, uh, I, I think that, that there are much better triggers that can be used to uh, activate the switch. But uh, after modifying it, we haven't had any problems and it's been about 10 years since I modified it. So it just keeps working over and over and over again. Now we're gonna turn this on so you can watch it go again. It is a little bit noisy. So it is recommended when we are using this system that I do wear headphones when I'm in a close proximity. Uh, also, we also have to use air. So with the air going, we have to run the air, the blow dryer and the machine and the press running all at the same time. It can get pretty loud. Another thing that's really interesting is this is very, very accurate. There will be no difference, even a thousand cuts into it. No change. I'm very, very happy with the way that this works.